Hi, I'm Connie Cleveland, and I want to talk to you about keeping your cues and commands clear. I went into the open ring with a dog who was fairly inexperienced and failed because she did not stand up on the stand, stay, go get your leash. She acted completely surprised when I gave her the command to stand up. And that got me thinking about all the things that we do, the exercises we start from a sit. Let's just think about open for a minute. You walk into the open ring and you line up to heel and the dog needs to know, he's sitting next to you, that your expectation is that you're going to go forward. I heel with a big dog, so my hand is up and I typically say heel to mean move with me or get next to me and sit down. So when I'm lining up to do the healing, I say heel and then the judge says, are you ready? I say ready and I say heel and then step. I'm very careful to make sure I give the command before I step. Well, we do that on the healing and on the figure eight, and then we go to do the command discrimination. And in open A, the dog is always going to stand up. So for me, what I've decided to do is give the dog a cue that lets them know the stand up is coming. When I line up to do the stand up, just before the judge says, are you ready? I adjust the dog's heel position by taking a little step back and saying, heel. And they back up a little bit. Now, why do I do that? Because when they stand up, I want them to lift their rear end up. So I feel like if I back up just a tiny bit, I'm putting that idea in their head. Get ready because we're going to back up. So I say, heel. And then my, I have a cue that means we're going to stand up. The judge says, he's about to ask me if I'm ready. And I say to the dog, get set, as in on your mark, get set. That's where that came from, but uh, get set. The judge says, stand your dog. And I say, stand up. I give my stand signal with my right hand. Some of you may do it with your left hand. I'm not suggesting that you have to do all these things the same way I do. I'm just showing you how I make the differentiation and trying to get you to think about how you're going to do it. So the third exercise in open is the drop on recall. Now I have to make sure that this dog is prepared to stay. So when the judge says, are you ready? Sit your dog, my command is sit. When they say, leave your dog, I say, sit. My stay command is with my left hand. All right, now we're going to go to the stand, stay, go get your leash. That's going to be done the same way in open A for the command discrimination and for the stand, stay, get your leash. But in open B, you might also need to put your dog in a down. So how is the dog going to recognize that the down is coming? Well, when I line up to do the command discrimination and the down is first, I'm just very clear. I, I'm probably exaggerating that I want the dog to go down. So if the judge says, down your dog, I say, down. And I point down with my left hand and I bend my knees. So now I've got those four different expectations divided well in the open class. What happens when I go into utility? There's one more thing that the dog has to do when they're lining up in heel position with me, and that is get ready to do a go out. So because I heel with my hand up with my large dogs, when I'm lining up to do the go out, I say to my dogs, look, and I put my hand at my side. That's my cue before the judge ever asks me if I'm ready to say to the dog, go ahead and look away from me. Look out, figure out where you're gonna go because the go out is next. I have also worked little dogs that I healed with my hand down. And when I got ready to do the go out, I just did it in the opposite order. I would say, look and pick my hand up. So that again, my body posture was changing. That was a cue to the dog that the dog could get ready to do the go out. So those are the five ways that I distinguish the five different things that dogs are gonna do when they're sitting next to me so that they are prepared for what's coming next. Are you making sure that you distinguish those five things for your dog? I would like to help you make your cues and commands as clear as possible. So just give that some thought and make sure that your dog understands exactly what's coming next.